Goddag, and welcome to DG Brothers. I'm Louis, and this is week 4 of Louis World 2020. Week 2 had no questions or requests, but Ivy answered my question and told that CSGO is still her main game. And, of course, it's still one of my favorites as well. It's the first game I ever made a video in, and I still play it from time to time. I actually have a buttload of recordings in my library, so you can look forward to some CSGO highlights in the future. As you can see, there's happened a freaking lot since I last showed you. Uh, I actually should have done this intro in the beginning of the week, of course, but I think I've already played 6-7 to seven hours or something. But uh, yeah, I got a, a lot of sheep now and they're of course all color coordinated. Everything's just perfect. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, and as you can see the sheep was here before, but now we got cows here. And um, yeah, actually I've done a lot of stuff to get some progress done. Um, so I'm just gonna show you my uh, routine, how I get shit done. So uh, as you can see here, the farm is now this huge, a massive block. Uh, and I've also um, expanded it a little bit. And the reason why it's such a huge block uh, now is that I have made it more automatic. So instead of running from there to there, now I can just do this. And as you can see, ah, uh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If that isn't beautiful, I don't know what is. And then another press. And that's it. So as before, I just jump here and I got a lot of fucking weed, man. A lot of weed. Uh, of course, I still have to plant it uh, myself, but uh, I think this is working pretty well. I I'm really not a redstone guy, so I'm, I'm, I'm pretty proud of this, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Now, what I do with all this hay is, of course, feed my cows. All right, everyone has been fed now, and then it's time for the killing. When I'm done with that, I go to my sugarcane farm. Well, it's just a uh, quick little strip I can go around here, and they didn't grow all the way this time because I wanted to make the video now, but uh, fairly easy and quick. Uh, I would get over a stack usually, but this is fine. Now back down in the storage area, I go in here and I of course make all my sugar canes into paper. And then we put this here, put that there, and then we take all the books, so 61 books. Fairly good, fairly good. And then we bring the books to my new build. I know it's very weird, it's, it's actually kinda ugly. Um, but at least it looks uh, kind of mysterious, I think, and that's that's the point of it. it it's, it's supposed to look weird. <laughs> I might change it, but I think it's fine for now. And then we go in here, and up in this barrel here we got all the books and some lapis lazuli. And I think I'm in level 30 now, so I think I'm gonna do a little enchanting here. Let's see what we got. Sharpness 3. And that is exactly what I'd like to get. So, we take the book and then we go over to this build, which is also... <laughs> it's alternative. I'll give you that, I'll give you that. But yeah, in here we got... Um, let's see what we got here. We got the efficiency 4, we got power 1, power 4, uh, sharpness 1 and sharpness 3. Which means that we got 2 sharpness 3 now. So we can go in and combine those to get a sharpness 4. Perfect. Now I think sharpness go to level 5, so that is not ready yet. I need to combine it with some other books before I use it on a sword. Um, same with these, they are not in the complete level that I want them to, so I'm gonna save those for later. Then over here I got the finished ones, I got Unbreaking 3, I'm saving that till I got a pickaxe that is good enough uh, to get it on, um, but that is ready to use. That's actually all I'm doing at the moment. Uh, enchanting all day, enchanting all night. <laughs> now I will just keep repeating, farming, slaying cows, making books, enchanting them, and of course uh, making good 
tools and weapons out of it. But I have noticed that I get a shit ton of books. Like, how many do I have now? I got, let's see... I already got over two stacks of books. And uh, yeah, I'm actually in level 30 now, so I'm just gonna enchant one in a second. But, um, but yeah, my levels aren't rising as quickly as I get books. So of course we're gonna make a XP farm. Um, and I have used an hour or so in a uh, creative world to make a design for the XP farm. Of course we're gonna make a, a huge mob spawner, the old classic one. It's just, they work per perfect, so no reason to make anything over the top. I'm gonna hate myself for this, because for the build, I'm gonna need, what, 966 blocks or something. Almost a thousand blocks to make this thing. And furthermore, they are gonna fall first, um, what was it, 22 blocks? But besides that, I actually make to, need to make it 106 blocks higher than that, just to make sure that they uh, spawn uh, as much as possible, because if they get too close to the ground, they will be affected by the mobs that spawn around here. So this is gonna be a fucking massive build. Alright, so now you can see how tall this is gonna be. Holy shit, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> you can see my base from up here, I think the farm looks really good. And all the sheep of course and my cows, you can see it all down there. Oh my god, this is so tall. We're gonna make an elevator all the way up as well, plus the almost thousand stone bricks that I need to make. I am at the moment smelting all the cobblestone down in the base, so <laughs> holy shit, this is gonna be a huge work, but uh, yeah, I better get down there and uh, get going. <laughs> Alright, so as you can see, I have now finished the elevator to the platform, so we're just gonna take that up. It's a fucking long way, man. Oh, <laughs> shit. And there we are up. Holy shit. This is where the XP farm will be. This is where I can beat them up with one hit, hopefully. I have now made the bottom of the mob spawner. There's gonna be running water down here, of course. I forgot to bring the water. Uh, but then uh, the mobs will fall down there and take as much damage so I can just hit them when, with one hit with my hand and then they'll die. The mob spawner is now finished. As you can see there's water leading down to this hole and I just need to take out the light and uh, then seal it shut. So uh, I'm just quickly gonna do that and we'll see if it works. Ooh, this is exciting. Now there should be mobs spawning in there, so let's get down and see if it's working. Here we got our first mobs, and boom! That one was armored, so... Fuck yeah! It seems to be working just fine! Ha, ah, that's so good, and look at this! Oh yeah, baby! Oh yeah! Okay, so that's it! What you just saw there, my friend, is a perfect system. Now when I'm up here, oh god, I forgot another hopper. I'm gonna, I need another hopper going to, into that one. But then it's the perfect system. God damn it! Of course I forgot something when I tried to do this. <laughs> but now when I stand here and I beat all these motherfuckers up, getting these sweet levels, they also drop tons of stuff. Oh, the number of creepers scare me a little bit, but <laughs> they drop a lot of stuff, and of course. This one isn't emptying, but otherwise it goes into this one, which goes into that one, which goes into a dropper that um, spits it out so that it falls all the way down to the ground, down into the water. Then I got a water stream going down. I'm gonna show you in a second, so no worries, but I'm just gonna beat up a little bit more. Now I already at, I'm already at level 30. We got the water stream going here, and this is where the um, all this stuff is gonna run out. Uh, there's a tunnel here that leads all the way from the big fall and into this hopper here, which goes in all the way down here into the chest in, down here. 
Uh, now this was a pain in the ass to build because uh, yeah everything is underwater in my base if you haven't noticed. So making a water stream tunnel under water it was a hell of a job. But if we look in here we can see that some of the stuff that we um, that we beat out of the monsters is now down here in the chest. So everything is working perfectly. I am an idiot at redstone. I, I worked out how to make a redstone clock myself and I've worked out the whole water system myself as well. You probably can do it in a lot easier way, but I found out myself. I'm really fucking proud of this. It's working. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> Perfect. All right, it is now all patched up and looking good. And seriously, the drops you get from this, how much time was I up there? Like for half a minute or something. Look at this, I already got a stack of gunpowder. Yeah, okay, can't use that, but double stacks of zombie flesh. Got a hell of a lot of bones for bone meal, so that's good. And a fucking lot of arrows as well. And then we got some strings, I got a music disc. It's working just as it's supposed to do, so I'm just gonna keep enchanting, killing mobs, killing cows, making books, all that kind of shit. Sorry not sorry that this week's episode got so long. I tried to cut it short, but I simply just played Minecraft for 20-30 hours this week, so I couldn't make it any shorter. I hope you enjoyed anyway, I certainly did, so I hope you wanna subscribe and join me again next week. Remember to like if you liked the video and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.